Okay, wait. Okay, okay. So these are the proposed new emotes. I cannot make it dark because I'm not logged in, so I cannot really make a dark theme. But this, these are the proposed new emotes for um, for the stream, right? And in my opinion, I like the Yanko's mine, and I also like the Yanko's Lee. I suppose. I feel like Yanko's gamble could be more of like someone like you know using the like kind of people gamble, but just like image. Nice Q I don't like because nice Q I, I feel like it could just be my face with eyes on like two different sides or something. Basically me missing Q, but not that way, you know what I mean? And then Yanko's hair is, you know, just whatever can be fine. I like the Yanko's mind. But I'm not sure of the Yanko's QQ. And Yanko's Devi, I'm not sure as well. This one is the worst Yanko's G. And this is just a Sage, right? Yanko's Sage. Too, too much hair, not realistic. Too much hair, not realistic. Do you want to... Actually, I cannot say it. I cannot say what I would like to do to you because I will get banned. Well, anyway, I might take some of them, but I'm thinking I might not take the Yanko's Q at least. But God damn it! Yanko's Lee is the best emote ever. If I send you $1,000, will you play a whole day of buy? Dominic, thank you for subbing. Uncle Curtis, thank you. Any tips for a bronze jungler? I think if you watch my streams and you listen, because on my I give advices, you will probably climb slowly. If I would play one day of buy for $1,000, I don't think so. I mean, this is just, why would you do that? You know, why would you make me play buy for $1,000? You can invest that money in a you know, better way. They really don't want you to play Pantheon. That's true, but Pantheon is just giga broken, so I'm not surprised. Also, enemy team had Mundo jungle, and I think Mundo is actually... You know that Mundo is getting a rework, right? Mundo is getting a rework. Not, not a full rework, but a skin rework. Like, uh, basically, the looks. And uh, since he's getting looks rework, what that means is that Riot needs to buff him. Because people will buy skins again. So Riot needs to buff Mundo yeah. to make him viable. So Mundo will be viable in the next patch, most likely. DWG kind of said that he wants Nidalee or Graves skin for world skin. Would you rather want him to pick Nidalee or Graves? I don't know. I, I, you know what? I don't care. I don't care if Tian chose Lee Sin. I don't care if Ning chose Camille. And I don't really care what fucking Canyon will choose. All I know is that for the past three years, I have always lost to the fucking world winner. KW pay up already. <laughs> let's thank you for two months. Actually, you know what? I think I can already pay the people that bet on me dying. I mean, let's be fucking honest. On average, I have like 10 deaths per game. There's no way I can go dead list. So uh, whoever beats on uh, me dying, I guess it just gets three points. Okay, I should have Kaisa. It's not the bar. I spent all my challenge points on this. You better play like last game. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Something very important to say here. Currently, there's 6 million points on me running it down and 1 million on me going deathless. So the odds are one, 6 to 1, right? Or 1 to 6. 1 to 7 right now. So, yeah. But the, the, no swearing from Pietri. But uh, the thing is... That if you bet all your points on me in think, I feel like that's risky. I feel like there's no reason to beat to, to bet so many points on me in think. There's just no reason to. It's weird because they don't have heal, so I feel like I feel I should just flash in. I 
I'm gonna die, I'm sorry. I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, like, let's be honest here, I mean, it's not that easy to go deathless. I mean, I was trying to go deathless, but at this point I need to get double kill, right? I mean, it just makes sense, right? I mean, that was a fast... <laughs> that was a fast one, I suppose. I mean, uh, wild boar, thank you for subbing. Yay. <laughs> well, well, well. Did they flash for this? Did they actually flash for this? Because the gold cut came out of nowhere a little bit. Maybe they have flash for this. At least I feel like they have flash for this. Oh, poor anyways. Can't do anything. There you go, there you go, there you go. No, maybe not. Oh yeah, well my god, oh my god. How crazy is what just happened by the way? Both me and Wukong just flash into his uh, I mean both me and Volibear just flash into his knockup. useful for half a second that all you have to do exactly what you did exactly what you did they hope i don't have this guy anymore in my team okay now uh, now it's time for me to chase everyone has his had his turn now it's time for me Need 1.4k gold and then I have Sterak. But at this point the game is hard because I'm the only strong guy in our team. And I don't necessarily think that me being very strong as their team is great. Ah, this is a little bit awkward. Did she just try to scream as a fucking volleyball? Okay, this guy's very fast. Okay, they did use ult. Oh. I mean, I guess the Wukong had to TP, right? Because he, there was no way he would be there so early, so he did have to TP. I mean, I guess this guy at least hints. I am very fucking dead again. Hey, hey, TF! Why skin game, man? Why can't I just play against fucking useless champs? Why do I have to play against TF instead? I really wish I could play against useless champions. Not TF. TF is not useless. TF is annoying. TF is strong. Why can't I play against... I don't know. Oriana or something. I mean, it's not like Oriana is giga useless, but like... Sure wasn't TF. Oh, well, okay. It's TF is on duty. And... The guy is dead. 
Oh, that was fucking okay. I'm going to get gold carded anyway, so. I know, uh, maybe I should get golden medics. I want to stun him just before he autos me. Because if I stun him just before he autos me, then he will get stunned and then. Basically, but, but the thing about um, stuns in uh, League of Legends is that, like, think about it, right? If someone is about to stun you and you're about to stand still, if you stun him at the same time, he's not moving at all, right? But if I stun him before that and then I can do some damage, but then he stuns me and runs, that's good for him. And also, keep in mind, if you get stunned, you finish your action. So, for example, if, let's say I have Pantheon W just barely when I'm about to get hit, right? Then I will um, be flying during the stun, right? That's how you play Lilia. When you Lilia W, when you're about to get stunned, you will still fly for a bit before you actually stand still. Kinda play too many useless champions, honestly. I think we just all got those drafted. I think we can't win with this guy. I think the anyway is just too fucking garbage. Like he was just literally unplayable. I mean, okay, well we also were like ultra giga behind bot lane, but I think our mid lane was so fucking gay. So, so, so. I know who was this guy. He said he doesn't have champions, but like he was so giga useless. Casa didn't shake of his. Oh my. He's a one-trick, right? Yeah. He's a one-trick, Asad. <laughs> 